all right we are back in the booth for another video i'm gonna need me a deep diving crawl pattern so i figured i'd just videotape it and bring you all along with me so this is actually a magnum deep diver from alternative it's probably the equivalent of a 6xd or an 8xd it's big and i i want to do a crawl pattern in it so what I've already done is I've already covered the bait in white as usual. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my big, I got the Magnum stencil for um, the Ultimate Crawl. And I'm going to use it. I'm going to put some carbon black in my gun, give it a little shake. Get a little in the gun. Give it a little test. Make sure everything's kosher. Spraying a little thick. That means I got something on my on my needle. There we go. All right. So I've got the Magnum crawl stencil from from Lure Build. I'm gonna lock this thing down. And on this big bait, you just want to make sure that you're getting toward the bottom of it. That's why I'm going to do this in sections. So I'll do this bottom section first. And then I'll stop. And then I'll just reline it back up to come across the top. Because the way the baits are shaped, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do it in sections. You know, it's just part of it, unfortunately. But the more you start using your airbrush, it's not gonna be an issue. So we'll we'll try to line this up to come across the bottom here. bring it up to the side here under the bill that's why I've clipped this stencil so that I can kind of just have some versatility with it and that brings it on up we'll hit the eye and we'll come back here in the back a little bit just to bring it to the back I am going to redo these. These didn't quite go up where I wanted them to. And I'll bring that one back and just do a little bit there. Okay, that's, that looks good. We may end up taking it up a little higher here. Eh, it's pretty much near the top. We'll leave that alone. Then we'll come back up and do this front piece. Kind of gives it the finishing touch and we'll go ahead and finish this side we're going to do it a little different i'm going to use a creature feature stencil from whitmore farm and i'm going to do the the top section with this i usually do a kind of a bigger modeled on this but we're going to go ahead and um use this one today i'm going to try to do something a little different we'll give it a different look I like that. That gives it a cool look. And then what I'll do is I'm going to take the extra fine one and I'm going to do a little work around the eye with the fine. If you've noticed, I've clipped the top of this stencil off so I can butt it up to um, get close. And it's, a, it's just a, a little tip, but it, it works very well. So then we're going to grab a little bit bigger one and we'll kind of finish off this center. It's just the look I like for the crawls. And we'll spin it around and we'll hit these just a little bit. 
and that gives it a really cool look. We'll leave a little bit of it clear and uh, clean our tip off and then we'll just flip it over. And the key to this, if you're going to leave it in this, I've done this for a long time with mine, but I still mess it up. You just want to make sure that you're getting near the bottom of the stencil with it. I mean, the, the lure with it. You just don't, it just looks better. And you can see it went down, and that's what you want. You want it down. You just want it to hit low on the base. It just turns out better when you do that. And then we'll take this piece and we'll go ahead and just curve out our bottom. Then we'll come back up and do our detail work. Okay. So then we'll kind of just We'll just kind of set it up close. Just let some of the overspray hit that. Come up here with that. And that kind of finishes that look off. We'll hit the eye. Spraying on about 15 pounds. And then we'll just come back over it with the creature stencil from Whitmore Farm and do our top just like we did the other side. You can let it go down as far as you want. It really gives it a unique look. Just something different to try. And then what we'll do, we'll set that one down and we'll grab our fawn and we'll go around the eye up close with the small. Let's get a little bit where you can see it. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. I just like that small model. It just looks really good on a on a crawl bait. Then we'll go back, grab our little bit bigger one, and just kind of touch up some of the areas. You don't have to do the whole section. I'll try to do a little bit in the middle because I may try to come back in and highlight my my shell. And we can go ahead and do we can do the top and creature feature too. That'll kind of give it a neat look. We'll go ahead and do that. I just kind of go lightly over it. I don't want it super dark. Then if I try to go over it with something, it's not as hard to cover. Black's a hard color to cover. Unless you're using color shift. And I'm kind of winging this one today, so I don't know offhand what I'm going to put on the top. I've got a new crazy paint from Green Stuff World I want to try. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this gun out and we'll be right back. I got a little ahead of myself. I haven't done my bottom yet and I still have black in the gun. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our tried and true Louisville crawl stencil and we're gonna put some lines on this bottom. This is a lot bigger bait, so you're gonna have to do this in sections too. So what you wanna do, you wanna try to line it up and I'm a little bit off, so you can't go by that. You gotta go by your hook eye. I went a little bit off on my my shell pattern. And I'll do that and then I'll put some of the bigger model here on his stencil. I like it. And just fade it into the chest area. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to clean the gun out and I'll be right back. All right, so we have got the detail done and it's dry. 
now I'm going to kind of just start adding a few colors in. So the first one I'm going to use is a new Green Stuff World paint. It is called Vomit. And it's just kind of a crazy color that I've wanted to try. And I'm going to use it kind of in between my shell pattern. Because I want to use a kind of a candy brown for the top. I just have a lot of luck with that. So we're going to add some of this. I've never used this, so we're fixing to find out what this is going to look like. So we're going to start out around the eye right here by the mouth. Come down and I'm going to fill a little bit of this in. Go around the eye. And then I'm going to put some on the bottom here. here I'm going to kind of mix that with some brown so I'm not going to put a whole lot on it I'll probably put I'll, I'm gonna probably put a few sporadic pieces in here and I'll just shoot my brown candy over it that'll give it a kind of a, a neat look So we'll let that dry and we'll be right back. All right, so what I've done is everything is dried and I mixed some candy brown in the cup one to one with some uh, 4011 in it. We're gonna let it sit. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of color shift and this is Turbo Dorks Shifting Sand. And we're gonna mix this up and we're gonna shoot a little bit on the black, on the, on the shell part. Now this I'm going this is a little bit thicker paint I actually mix it with some um I put a little bit of alcohol in mine to thin it out because it is thick and it actually goes a little longer and I just got this so I've never used this this color before and we've turned the pressure up to about 25 And we'll go ahead and give this a shot. We'll go ahead and put a little bit around the eye if I don't hit my head on the camera first. And then we're just going to hit the black shell and change the color of it. And we'll hit a little bit on this top because when we go to put that brown candy on it's going to give it a wicked look I just spotted it I didn't hit it everywhere just a little bit on the black we'll do the same thing here leave a little bit of the black and then hit the shell and you can see it changing the color of it it's kind of got that goldish brown color shift and that'll really match this candy we're fixing to put on and we'll put a little bit on here just get a little bit not a lot and mix it up in here too and that gives it a unique look
because the eyes I'm using are going to have some black and yellow in it and a little bit of brown so it ought to match perfectly so we'll clean this up and we'll be back as soon as it dries all right so this is dried and now what we're going to do is we're going to take some candy 2-0 dirt track brown that I've pre-mixed and we're just the key to this is just go very light with this. I'm going to spray this out of my Creos PS771 on very low pressure. I'm going to go ahead and cut that down. Because I don't want this to do a bunch of a bunch of covering. I just want to darken it up a little bit. And this brown is probably one of the best candies out there. So we'll set that to the side. We're spraying this very low, about 15. We're gonna run over the top and what we've done, don't forget is we've taken the vomit and the color shift and just sporadically put it in and this is a transparent. And we're just going to slowly layer this on. I'm not going to put it on heavy. I don't want it running. I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit where I have this color shift at. It's going to be super transparent anyway. Put a little bit here. So we're going to let that dry for just a minute and then we'll come back and put one more coat on it and then that'll be done. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put another coat of candy on the top and get this finished up. You can actually still see. all the stencil work that we did because it's a transparent and then once you put that I'm not going to put a lot more on this because this this brown will get very dark and I don't want it to be super super dark The more you put on it, the darker it's going to get. So you got to be careful with that. Okay. So we'll let that dry and we'll come right back. All right. So everything is dry. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to cut. This one came pre-wrapped. I didn't even have to tape these. They were already pre-wrapped. So I'm sure this is going to be fun getting this off. So I'm going to take this off. I definitely got it on there. So we're going to go ahead and take the razor here and just kind of cut this plastic. That's usually the the best way I've found to do it. And usually I can just get it right off. I'll just cut it one more time. Not going too deep. Razor's pretty sharp. And we'll 
get this off. Okay, so as you can see, it turned out relatively pretty cool. And I got a little surprise for you. So we're going to get the eyes on this first. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this desk real quick. And then I'll come back and we'll get these eyes on. All right, so we're ready to get the eyes in. I got the eyes already taken out. And these are actually glass eyes, so we're going to have to glue these in. So we're going to turn that up a little bit and get a little bit of glue on here. Not, you're not going to need a whole lot. It'll it'll stick pretty good. And then what I'll do is I got my tweezers out. I'll just set it and get it down. And then I'll turn it with the tweezers until it sets. But that gives it a really cool look. It's kind of a bright eye. I like that with the colors that I'm using. Especially with what I'm fixing to do that I'm going to share. And just let it bite and it'll have a, a pretty real natural look to it just let that bite for a second it won't take the glue long it's still a little bit we'll go ahead and go to this side get a little bit of glue on there Move it around, just a thin layer. You don't need nothing popping all over your paint. And I'll just set it in and I'll move it with my finger to get it where I want it. These eyes came from Lure Build and they're they're really cool looking. They bug out and I like that for a crawl. So we'll let those dry and then we're going to come back and I'm going to share something with you that I've just only done once but it's kind of a cool thing especially if it works. It worked on the first one that I did but as soon as these dry we'll, we'll move on to the next step. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over what we've done so far and then we'll move to the, the final steps of the bait. So this is the Magnum Deep Diver from Alternative Lures. And what I did was, I, you know, I painted it white. I always start white. That's just me. And then I always use black for my whatever stencils I'm using. I did have a question by one of the viewers, I can't remember his name, um, that asked did I use colors on it. And I do at times, but I've, I've just found better luck when I just stick with the white and black and then I just build my color up for whatever I'm doing. That's just the way I've always painted. Um, not saying you can't do that. You, I'm sure you could do red or whatever color you wanted to do the, the shell pattern in. I've just... I've kind of gotten set in my ways with that and I kind of like to build off my um, black and white base. So um, what we did next, we used the Magnum crawl stencil from Lure Build. We used on the bottom of the pattern, we used the Old Faithful, the Louisville Fishing stencil there. What we did different was on this one, we used a Whitmore Farm Creature Feature stencil and went over the shoulders and the top and it's really going to, you're really going to see it after we get the UV on. That's where it really is going to shine because we put the candy and we mixed the color shift and the, <laughs> the green stuff world vomit. We used the very fine detail stencil from Anarchy and then we used the modeled little bit bigger stencil to finish it up. So now what I'm going to do, and I've only done this one time, but we'll, we'll finish up with the paints. We didn't use the orange, so we're going to put it back. But we used the, the Turbo Dork Shifting Sands on the scale, I mean uh, the shell pattern. We used the Green Stuff World Vomit color on in between our shell patterns 
and some on the face. Then we came back over the top with Candy 2.0 brown, dirt track brown. Probably one of the best candies out there. Probably a lot of people don't like the brown, but the brown is actually fantastic. It's going to be really hard to see right now, but as soon as I put that UV on, you're going to be able to see through the. It's going to you'll be able to look through it. It's going to really give it a great look. Then we use kind of a crawl, a yellowish blackish eye from Lure Build. It's a 10 millimeter, very cool eyes. I was going to use some interference on this one, but I decided not to. I think I had enough on there. It's, it, it, it'll, it'll turn dark real quick if you're not careful. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the UV and I got a kind of a, a unique looking product that I've just gotten. I've used it one time on another bait. It is actually colored UV resin. This one is actually orange. And what I'm going to do or what I'm going to try to do is I did a shad pattern with a green one and it actually turned out pretty good. I've got it right here. I'll actually show it to you. I put the UV gold glow on the face of this bait and it really turned out good and it does glow in the dark. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to take this orange and I'm just going to kind of go around the shell with it and then I'm going to set it and then we'll come back over it with the clear and just see how that turns out. So let me get things ready and we'll get on to that. All right, so we're going to give this a whirl. So this is, like I said, it is glow orange UV resin. And we're just going to go over a few areas with it, and then I'm going to put it into the box, let it set, then I'm going to come back and put my clear over everything. So here goes nothing. I've, and I've actually warmed this up in some about 300 degree water on a hot plate too because it just works out a lot easier if if it's not like honey and it's already going to be like honey I can already look at it but we're just going to put it over the color shift we're going to have to do a couple of coats I'm afraid because I know it's not going to be enough And it glows in the dark, so it's kind of cool looking. So we'll put a little bit around the eyes. And we'll come down that color shift on the shell. Then we'll stick it in the box. We'll go over it a couple of times because it doesn't put out a lot. Like I said, I, I heated it up. make sure we get all the shell pattern done do a little bit around the face like I said it will glow in the dark I, I took that shad I did and I checked it and it it actually turned out pretty cool Got to smooth it out good. And then we'll come back over. Okay. So we'll finish this up and then do the other side. I just want to get enough of it on to give it a chance. Like I said, I've never done this, so this is all right. We are back and we are going to finish putting on the regular clear. We stuck it in there for a few minutes and let it dry off. And now we're gonna coat it with just a whole, just some clear UV and finish it up. So far, so good. It's got a real neat color. 
And as soon as we put this UV on this brown, it's even gonna be better. And that candy pops on that UV. And you can see everything in it. I'm real curious to see how the the orange is gonna do. I've never I'm heating this stuff and this stuff is thin, man. Woo. That's the good thing about it though. You want it, you don't want this stuff thick. It's hard to put on when it's thick. I can move it around. And plus we gotta do this bill and clear it up. I've got enough on there to do that alone. see how clear it does get it. it it clears it right up a lot of people don't like doing the bills but you make a mistake not doing it ain't it's not adding that much weight to it and then you just want to take a little bit down here and just it's got like a cup where your hook hanger is I don't want to fill that up and now I'm just gonna to touch it up make sure there's no bubbles get some of this excess off hang this thing up and let it get in the box and then I'll come back and we'll go over the final results but you can see man when you put that candy brown is just for these crawls that is one fantastic color it is man that is perfect it just has such a cool look Like I said, if this orange UV works out the way I think it's going to work out, it's going to give it another dimension in doing lures. It's not expensive, couple bucks. Yeah, that top is, man, it is, it is clean. I had one bubble right there on the edge of it. top is is crystal clean all right so we're gonna hang this up and as soon as I get it out we'll do the final results I'll do you showing all right so we have got the final product out and it turned out really cool I'll have to check it out and, and take it into the dark just to see how that colored UV went. I can actually see a little bit of it, but it actually turned out really good. The brown candy looks fabulous. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I have upcoming videos. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.